Hey everyone, my name is Eric Dorn. In today's video, we're taking an intimate look at YouTuber Dream, who recently had 30 million subscribers. And then I'll, I'll make an inventory yeah, source. Just make an inventory source, and then we can flood it like as long wait, as we want. Sam, just, wait, just, dude, just take my bucket. Oh, just I take just my fell bucket. Into the hole. He jumped, he jumped, he jumped, he jumped. <gasps> now, Dream is known for his Minecraft speedruns, for his Among Us, the big brain plays, and for his uh, sheer prowess in multiple forms of different games. Yeah, Dream is a person that wants to be the best at whatever he does, and he seems to have this motivation this massive motivation to be known as somebody intelligent, expertful, and talented. I go left, he's stuck. Go on, go on. Okay, he's stuck. He has more to go. He's stuck. He's stuck. Oh my god. I don't think he's gonna make it. That's the part. He might not make it. He might not make it. He's not gonna make it. Miss. Bye. He's not gonna make it. Bye. Oh! 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 Oh my gosh! So one thing that you'll see in Dream is that no matter what he does, he wants to be the best at it. If he's not the best at it, he doesn't want to do it. These are also some of the qualities that have made him quite controversial in the community. Dream can be known to sometimes lose his temper, to speak out angrily, when he'll often react very negatively if he feels something is unfair, and he can sometimes <laughs> speak <laughs> quite openly on Twitter, saying certain things that trigger uh, different people. So what you'll see here is the qualities of an INTP personality type. INTPs arguably are people that are and seek to be high achievers. They want to be the best at what they do. That's their core motivation, introverted thinking, accuracy, perfection, being smart, knowing the right answer, knowing what to do, being a problem solver. These are all things that Dream values really highly in what he does. Some people would argue that Dream is an INTJ personality type, somebody who plans out different strategies and that thinks like a mastermind ahead of time towards a future goal. But if you'll ask Dream, he'll rarely actually talk about his future goals. For the most part, Dream doesn't seem to have a clear set vision. It doesn't seem like he's aiming to hit a certain number on YouTube. It doesn't seem like he has a set goal for what he wants his community to be. It seems that he most of the time just goes in in a more chaotic manner with certainly a lot of ideas, certainly a lot of plans and strategies that he could employ, but he always chooses in the moment which strategy seems to work best. He keeps on thinking and analyzing, coming up with different things, different techniques. He finds ways to rig votes, he finds ways to uh, break game mechanics, he finds ways to recode Minecraft to the point you barely recognize it. He finds way to, ways to change the fundamental paradigms of any game, and he finds ways to manipulate the rules to get ahead. He'll find the secret shortcuts, he'll find ways to do things that nobody thought were possible, and he'll come up with ways to do it better than anyone else. I'd argue that what sets Dream apart is his ability to do what we tend to think of as superhuman. When we see Dream do these kind of things in video games, we think, how? How did he manage to do that? How is that possible? How did that happen? And because it is so extraordinary, a lot of people would even argue that it's scripted or fake. We can barely believe it. We look at it as we look at a magician on stage. We think, what's the trick? What's the secret? What's the hack? What is he doing to do this thing? And so a lot of people have surrounded his uh, different uh, uh, times in video games and YouTube videos with controversy. A lot of people have speculated about him being a cheater or somebody that uh, is lying or deceiving community somehow with what he does. What's made Dream even more controversial is perhaps his decisions to remain private. And while most people would respect his privacy and would respect his decision not to choose to reveal his face, a lot of people don't really have a personal relationship to who Dream is and to him and his personality. And most people can only speculate about who he is behind the scenes. Dream is, in that sense, a faceless YouTuber, a person that we can only uh, speculate on. And so what I say in this video is a speculation too. Ultimately, I can't say for sure who Dream is. It's only Dream can. And because perhaps people don't know him, it's pretty easy for people to have very different opinions about him, making him an even more controversial figure online. It's not knowing who he is, but seeing his loose tweets, seeing what he posts online, seeing uh, him speak at a turn, it makes him uh, suspicious to the greater community and uh, people as a whole. Uh, when people don't know you and people don't have a clear face or eyes to connect to you, when people can't see your smile or your facial expressions, it's hard for people to empathize with you and to see you as a real person. At the same time, 
because of this, perhaps a lot of people have also developed very deep relationships to Dream. And it's also because of this that he's gotten such a strong uh, fan base of people that uh, would even go as far as to call themselves Dream sexuals or people that will uh, have and feel a strong sense of identification with Dream. Not knowing his face makes him a person that's also easy to identify with. People who watch his videos on a daily basis, people who see all his content, who is active in his community, might start to identify with him and start to project their own qualities onto him, seeing themselves in him, because you can project anything to a blank face like that. All in all, I find Dream to be a fascinating YouTube phenomenon. My advice for Dream is to keep doing what he does best, come up with ways to change the format of his games and to uh, use coding and programming and challenges to keep himself motivated at this peak. Dream is at his best when he has a challenge and the worthy challengers. Um, Dream has to think of ways to keep things fun for himself, varied and diverse. Int INTPs need a lot of change and need constantly new elements to keep their mind fresh and excited and energized. Do you agree or disagree with my typing of uh, YouTuber Dream? Let me know in the comments down below and thank you so much for watching. Awesome. Okay. Bye, see you. Was like throwing Wait, jump at us. What? Kind of I see like Wait, a slime ball, ball and like in. random put it. Oh, TNT yeah, block, 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 you knocked him off? I you get him off? Just what? go back through, go back through now! Go back through! Are you Wait, oh, oh my god. god. Oh go. my gosh, go. we need a block. Go. We need a block. We need a block. Here, 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 I'm gonna die. die. I'm gonna go get one. Try and get a block. He might be in the water. We have to go quick. I'm hurrying. We're trying, we're trying. It's built like this. Okay, I'm getting some. I don't know. The platform reset, so we had to go. The Ender Dragon is pulled The Ender Dragon just I got some, I got some. I fell, I fell. Oh my god, the Ender Dragon. He's still alive. He's still alive. He didn't die. I'm in, I'm in. Oh, fudge. Is, is he, is he, go, is he go, dead go. or what? What's I don't know. Just put the block on. Just put the block on. I have blocks, but we can't go through that. Just go. Do it. Wait, we don't get have blocks in the chest or something. Get, oh, just get blocks. Oh, oh, I'm done. Get some blocks. Get some blocks. I've got blocks. I've got no blocks. way. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, no. what? Go, Sadnap. Go, go, go. Oh, my gosh. 